Hello and welcome to this electrical principles training video. In this video we're going to start looking at very simple DC circuits and quite specifically we're going to look at what happens to the current inside a circuit as we change the voltage that we've applied to it and when we change the resistance within the circuit we're going to see how the current behaves. Now this is really important out in the real world when we're installing circuits and when we're designing them because we need to be able to calculate how much current will flow through them under different conditions. But also it's really important that we understand what we're doing here so that we can pass our exams. Now this is going to lead on to additional material, additional videos regarding specific mathematical formulas that we need to know about. So hopefully this will be very, very helpful. So we've got our Locktronics board ready to go with our plug-in components. We've got our DC power supply that we've rigged up here. This is how we're going to change the input voltage into the circuit. So we will adjust voltage and resistance and we'll see how that affects the measured current. Let's get started. So as we said, we're just going to very briefly investigate in this video what happens to current in a DC circuit as we change the value of resistance within the circuit and as we change the voltage applied. So let's have a quick look at this then. So first of all, we've got our power supply over here. So this device is outputting a DC voltage for us and we can set this to whatever value we want, up to 30 volts. Uh, I've got this set to about two volts at the moment. So I'm just going to plug in my meter to double check that voltage output. So I'm gonna set this to measure volts and I'm going to test and make sure that I've got about two volts coming out of there. That's great, so I've got two volts coming out of my power supply. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those two volts that I've got coming out of the power supply and I'm going to connect them into our circuit. So here we've got a circuit that we've connected our two volt supply up to. We're connecting this to a 10 ohm resistor and we're going to see how much current is flowing around the circuit here. So in order to measure how much current we've got flowing around the circuit, we now need to connect our multimeter in. Now it's currently set to measure DC voltage, but what I'm gonna do now is spin this around and set it to measure DC current. So this is now measuring DC current. Now a key point to remember from this video is that when we connect up an ammeter, we connect an ammeter in series with the load. So what that means is that we're going to take a link out of this circuit because what we need to do is divert the current out of the circuit it needs to go through the meter and then back into the circuit again. Now it's of note that I'm measuring the current over here uh, because actually in this circuit it wouldn't matter where I measure current if I measured it over here or over here I'm going to get exactly the same value in both places. So let's have a look at this. So first of all I'm going to make sure that I've got my uh, leads in the right terminal. So we always have one in the common. Now I've got this set to measure uh, up to 10 amps because it might just go above the 200 milliamps range. So we'll just double check this. So we'll plug this into our 10 amp socket as well and then we'll connect this into the circuit. So as you can see there we've got our current measurement. So we've got current flowing now out of the circuit, through the meter and back into the circuit again. So the meter is forming part of the circuit. And we are measuring 0.19 amps, 0.19 amps. So we'll keep this set up as it is and we're just gonna tweak one very important thing. So currently we've got 10 ohms connected into the circuit. We're going to remove that 10 ohm resistor. Notice now the circuit has been broken there is no current flowing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a larger value of resistance. So in this case, I'm gonna put in an 18 ohm resistor. Let's see what happens to our current as we put in the larger value of resistance. So as you can see there, the resistance has increased and the current has decreased. So as we've increased the resistance, the current has gone up by a little bit up to 0.11. Now let's move back and have a quick look at a slightly different value of resistor. So we're gonna remove our 18 ohm resistor and in its place we're going to put a 27 ohm resistor and look at that, we've increased the resistance again 
and once again the current has dropped down. So by increasing the resistance in the circuit, we can see that the current is decreasing. So what we're going to do now is look at the other thing that we can change in this circuit. So we changed the resistance, but what we haven't changed is the input voltage down here. This has been two volts throughout the whole of this experiment. So let's go back to our original 10 ohm resistor and we should get back to our original value there. Okay, so we're somewhere close. What we're now going to do is we're going to look at what happens as we increase the voltage. So what we'll do now is we'll change our voltage from our power supply here. We're going to change that. So I'm going to increase the voltage. Now we won't worry too much about what the exact value is here, but you'll see from this needle that I'm going to increase the voltage. Now as the voltage increases, watch what happens to the current. So I'm going to increase the voltage. What do you think is going to happen to the current? Let's see. So as the voltage is creeping up and up and up, you can see that the current is also creeping up and up and up. So that leads us to another nice relationship. As we increase voltage, we increase current. So just to summarize the key points from this video, we can see that as we kept the voltage the same into the circuit, but increased the resistance, the current reduced. So by increasing resistance, we reduce current. When we kept the resistance the same, but we increased the voltage inputs, so when we changed the voltage input, we could see that what was happening was that the current was increasing. So just to summarize, if you increase voltage, you increase current. If you increase resistance, you decrease current. The other key point just to remember from this video is that when you connect an ammeter, you connect it up in series. In the next video, we'll put this on a slightly more mathematical footing and we'll come up with a formula that will help us to understand how we can actually calculate what the current will be in these circuits.